Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It's Ethan Jackson here with these Loyalty Lawn Gear. Today, um, it's Monday right now, actually. So we're just getting the trailer fixed up a little bit, uh, doing some maintenance. We'll get the mower blade swapped out and stuff ready for tomorrow to get going. Um, as you know, I've just recently picked up this six by six and a half by twelve trailer. Um, as you can tell, it's a, it's a, it needs some tender loving care. Not too too much, but it needs some. So right now, to about right here. Um, from there I sanded I haven't sanded I just took um, my wire brush right here to my Craftsman V20 drill um, and then what we'll do we'll spray it with some rust stolen primer black and then after that dries we'll do rust stolen flat protective enamel stops rust so that that should get us where we need I got these ideas from a few videos I watched on um, why it's lawn maintenance i'll leave a link to that video in the description down below and one other guy i can't think of the video name or the channel right now actually but he what he did he just sprayed it with spray paint like i'm gonna do but what i did was bed liner i can't find bed liner to save my life i was gonna do that it's a little more expensive so i just figured i'd do this with that and put a few extra bucks um with that this is like gonna be this whole thing was gonna be under like 50 bucks i think for sure um, and then I'll paint, I might paint the deck with like just black paint or as you can see, I took it to, a, oops, took it to a car wash and pressure washed it and I ran out of coins. Um, but either I'll pressure wash the rest of the deck or I'll just paint it or stain it or just take even old motor oil and kind of do a light coating of old motor oil that I have. You guys let me know what I should do in the comments down below for the deck. Um, so I guess I'll just put you on the side here while I sand this one because I don't have too much battery in the GoPro so I don't want it to die or anything before I'm finished because that'd be kind of annoying. So I'll set you guys down and you can see how I'm doing this. you can kind of tell with the, the drill now I'm just gonna blow it off with the blower I just don't want to get I don't want to get super sanded like I kind of went a little hard there you can tell I just want to get it enough to where it's gonna hold a primer and then I can paint paint it so what I'm gonna do is I went ahead and sand this whole side I'll tape the lights off and the plates and then we'll uh, get the sanding I mean paint painting with the primer but yeah can't talk uh first we're gonna get the blower um and blow that off my gopro battery is close to being dead so i don't know if i'll be able to finish the thing on the gopro it might be on my phone but um so i won't show you too much until like we're close to being done with the primer and stuff because just to save on battery time um, honestly so uh so enjoy the ride Alrighty, guys about an hour let's see yeah about an hour hour and a half hour and 40 minutes later we're done and i don't know if you guys can tell on camera i think i showed you right here but my gosh it looks really good really good i did some of the gate i didn't do too much because it's a gate come on so um yeah i mean just it's like whew, nice and clean looking man it looks great this side I just did this side so it's gonna look a little pasty a little discolored like right there it's still dry and it's almost dry but oh look we can get a fresh see I just finished up here there we go maybe this will be satisfying <laughs> like them satisfying videos so yeah pull it off so I mean it looks in my opinion guys whew, looks really good and up here i did i went ahead and painted them two by fours where i park my tires i do strap it down always um always i do but this is just 
just to, I don't know, extra security, you could say. Um, oh, I forgot to say this earlier, but if you stayed this long in the video, congratulations, because I'm getting ready to pass. I think it's like 98% going to happen. A demo of a, some of you have maybe seen my Cub Cadet 36 inch standard demo. Well, um, I thought I would, I thought for me, I'm going to get a 36 after demoing it. Um, not the case so much. It's kind of small for my properties. I don't have properties that small to get gates in. All my gated properties, I could get a 52, 54 inch in easily. So, except like one property, but that's the one where I push mow with their push mower anyways. And if I need to, I'll pick up a push mower, but I think I'm, this 54 is getting me excited. I'm, I'm excited for this demo that's coming up. So once we get that demo in, I'll definitely, we're only going to get it for a few hours on like a Tuesday in two weeks, right after GIE. Um, I will be at GIE. My hands are completely black. That's not paint. Most of it's just the stuff that I send it off. Um, I will be at GIE. So if you guys want to meet up, shoot me a DM. So what I pretty much did, I'll go over it again. I used my Craftsman drill with the bristle brush. I sand, sand it. I just scraped that all off. Um, then I sprayed some. It took one and a half cans of Rust-Oleum primer, sandable primer, fast drying. It actually is. It's a lighter gray. I don't know if you how well you can tell on the camera. Um, I used that one can, and then there's about half a can of it left. I only grabbed two cans, and I used one, two, three, four, complete three and a half because there's still half can. Uh, Rust-Oleum stops rust, flat protective enamel, superior coverage and durability. That's what I saw on a few other channels. Um, like I said, I'm more than likely going to paint the deck or stain it. Or, like I said, please give me your recommendations. I don't know what I'm doing too much. I mean, I'm learning just like you guys. Learning each day, growing each day. Um, but, guys, I really... If you look at it from a distance, you can't tell, like, how bad it was rusted. It looks... I don't know, like I said, the, how well the camera's picking up. But it looks fantabulous. Fa yeah, fantabulous. Yeah, whatever. I'm hungry, so I'm a little... I mean, I'm hungry, so my brain's on food. Um, so what I did, I sanded it, then I took the blower, blew it all off, maybe pressure wash it, but I don't know, I blew it. Primed it, then painted it. You, like I saw why it's long hair, you can use bed liner. Um, but yeah, whatever. Oh, uh, I have a question for you guys. So for leaf season this year, it looks like I'm going to have a few leaf jobs. And I know I'm going to have a few, I know I'm having already like close to 10 being scheduled. And I'm going to pick up a bigger blower and yada yada. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to get five sheets of four. I'm going to get five sheets of half inch plywood and five two by fours. I'll get four foot sides up all the way down in the front. And I'm going to get them pretty sturdy by two by fours. I'm definitely going to video that. So I'll be able to haul my mower. I'll be able to haul leaves. And I might even come up with some kind of system where I could throw a tarp over it. I don't know yet. Um... But yeah, that's what I'm looking to do so far with it for this leaf season. I'm not really going to get any racks. I might pick up a cheap $70 trimmer rack off Amazon. The cheap blower racks, though, I have seen bad things about them. They can break their blower really easy. The trimmers, I mean, they're 70 bucks, so you get what you pay for. I don't, I'm, I'm going to buy Equipment Defender. I like Equipment Defender. I have. That's what my line spool rack is. I'll show you real quick. Um... But the next thing we need to do, if the camera has enough juice, I'll video that. Get the blades off. Blow that off. Switch around. Do a sharpening. I think I, yeah, I already got these sharpened and balanced. Pretty sharp, actually, guys. If you ever wonder how sharp my blades are, they're extremely sharp because, I don't know how well you can tell, but right there, about a week and a half ago, I almost had to go to the ER. I accidentally cut myself. But how we do it now, um, I just pull my mower up to the front with that bumper there, and I pick it up with three-point hitch. Oh, here's the equipment defender line sport. I might throw that on the trailer. I don't know yet. But I need your recommendations on the leaf setup and stuff for that. I'm definitely going to do the leaf setup, but I kind of want some input on it, just what you guys would recommend. Other than that, this trailer looks brand new like i said it looks a little splotchy in some areas the spray paint I might throw a second coat on some areas but oh i did i did do a whole second coat on everything so there might be some areas i need to touch up i don't know yet we'll see once it all dries um because then you'll really be able to tell but i like i did some of the gate except where you're definitely driving a lot 
And, oh, here's one last question. I know I'm asking a lot of questions, but hey, that's how you learn. So what I'm, I, well, my question is, you can see there's only a support here, here, and here. Conveniently, my mower, and most mowers I'm assuming, go right in between where there's nothing to hold except this wire mesh. And we all know this stuff bends down and breaks. And as you can tell, maybe, I don't know, it's, it's an older trailer, so it's bent. I was thinking about running some 2x4s and bolting them in uh, where my mower is so this doesn't break out because I don't want to have to replace that too, too soon. Um, so just leave me some recommendations in the comment section of what you guys think you should do. Leaf box and other things. So I'll try to video. I'm on 13% on my GoPro, so I better end this part quick and get my mower ready to change these blades out. So I'll catch you guys underneath the mower, I guess. Hey, guys. So... Alrighty, it's time to change the blades, and I'm gonna try and do this a little faster and talk about some things at the same time. Cause, like I said, my GoPro is getting fairly close to dying. Uh, we're on 12%, so let's kick this out. So I take my impact socket, of course, or my impact uh, setting to on reverse just to zip it off real fast. It's about three impacts, it sounds like. Um. These are actually brand new blades I put on there about a week and a half ago or two. Um, the deck doesn't need scraped. Well, I'll go ahead and scrape it. Um, and some of you guys may be asking yourselves, Ethan, why aren't you using one of them black impact sockets? Well, the reason for that is I have a black impact socket. It's a deep well. Maybe I made the mistake of myself to get the deep well. Oh, oh and... It doesn't fit the way I lift this up with my three-point hitch and stuff. So I have to use my uh, silver one. I mean, I don't think there's really anything wrong with that um, at all. Uh, so, yeah. So what we're going to do for the blade, after I scraped it some around underneath it, these blades have been sharpened and balanced, of course. So you're going to want to hand thread this as much as you can. If you, well, the star bit is up oh, here. Oh, there it go. There it goes. So you just thread the song righty tidy lefty loosey, of course, not reverse thread or anything fancy. And then on my impact, because I don't want to get these on here a th like at a thousand foot pounds, and that's technically impossible. Setting one on the impact, righty tidy. And we're gonna just zip them and check them with our hands right there. And then I'm gonna shoot guys over here. Let's see. Um, so when we're taking the blade off, we want to scrape the deck. Um, hold on just a second. 15 minutes or five minutes? Yeah, 15. I just, I just gotta zip the blades off, and I got one more to do. 15 minutes though? Five probably. I do five. So now I got three. So we'll take our impact and stuff over the other side with the, whatever these things are called, dolly. I don't know, you lay on just to save yourself from getting all dirty. And I was thinking about when I was painting this, like, you guys might be wondering, Ethan, why do you have a trailer and stuff if you're not 16, you can't drive? Well, if you've watched my most recent video, you know that my grandma drives me around on Thursday. That's the wrong saying. That was my bad. Um, my grandma drives me around on Thursdays, and I get that Thursday route done, which is like my faraway route. But I'm working on getting my driver's or my permit and then my license soon. So that'll be exciting. That'll really help with business. Um, I turned 16 in November 13th, actually. So if you guys will be at Entrepreneur Academy and no, about Michigan. I'll leave a link down for that. Go buy your ticket. It's going to be a great business learning opportunity. And it will actually be my birthday the day I'm there. So I'll be there. As far as I know so far, I'm going to be there. Um, And I'll be at GAU, like I said. So that'll be lots of fun. So we're going to tighten this up. Like that. So we know that's on there good. Let's see if I'm, I believe go So yep, we're all ready for tomorrow. So guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, 
do me a favor and leave a comment like I asked some questions, you know. A little hand shop like. I'll leave the link down below for Entrepreneur Academy. Go grab your tickets for that if you're going. Um, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video.